Imagine coming across this on an afternoon stroll. You'd probably think you were dreaming, right? Wrong. In fact, there are tons of mind-bogglingly amazing things out there that you'd have to see to believe. Just take a look at this octopus that can turn itself into a giant ball. Or this fantastical street art that washes away with the rain. Stick around for a better look, plus a whole host of weird and wonderful things you're about to see for the first time in your life. Being a kangaroo seems pretty neat. Just imagine how handy a giant pocket on your body would be for storing snacks or your phone charger. What you probably don't know is that a kangaroo's pouch is actually much more than just a pocket. Just take a look at this TikTok by A Zoo Life and you'll see what I mean. The pouch is actually a small opening which stretches out into a complex nursery containing basically everything a baby kangaroo or joey needs. The newborn is only about the size of a jelly bean, not to mention being hairless, blind, and deaf after spending just 33 days inside the womb. Once born, the joey climbs up into the pouch where it grows to the size of a large house cat over the next 46 weeks or so. Inside, the pouch is hairless and lined with sweat glands that release antimicrobial liquid to keep the joey safe from harmful germs. It even has built-in nipples that create customized milk for every stage of the joey's development. No wonder they're so reluctant to leave. There are loads of random questions you've probably never thought to ask, like, how do you weigh an owl? Well, here's your answer. But why wrap an owl up like a big old feathered burrito? Apparently, humans aren't the only ones who are afraid of stepping on the scales. These adorable photos come from the veterinary department at the Raptor Center Clinic, University of Minnesota, who were treating this poor saw wet owl for a fractured pelvis sustained during its fall migration in 2013. Even injured owls are squirmy little blighters, and their sharp talons and strong wings could cause some serious damage. That's why vets choose to wrap the birds up in towels or blankets to make sure they stay still enough to get an accurate reading of their weight, which helps them keep track of their health. And if you thought that was cute, just check out this photo of a koala being weighed at the Kangaroo Island Koala Wildlife Rescue Center in Australia. What a well-behaved little dude. Speaking of owls, did you know that juveniles often sleep like this? No, I'm not kidding. When these impressive birds are little owlets, their heads are so large that they totally outweigh their bodies, making it impossible for them to sleep standing up like their adult counterparts. Instead, they lay face down with their freakishly long legs extended behind them, as if they've just come in from a heavy night on the town. The dead mouse behind it really taps it all off too. It's like the kebab you totally forgot about before you blacked out. I can't be the only one who thinks that looks like a toddler in an owl costume having a tantrum, right? And those legs. Who knows what other tricks owls have hidden up their sleeves. There's one way you could appease these feathered freaks, though, and that's by hitting that like and subscribe button. Duh. You should probably hit that little bell icon, too, just to make sure you aren't missing out on any amazing content. Done? All right, let's dive right back in. You'd be forgiven for thinking starfish are some of the least interesting creatures the ocean has to offer. After all, they don't really do much other than hang around stuck to rocks or coral, right? Well, you might want to check this out before passing your final judgment. Many species of starfish, like the adorably named chocolate chip sea star in this video, actually have the ability to move pretty quickly on their feet. And when I say feet, I mean thousands of hydraulic tube-like extensions named podia that stick out from underneath them. Although starfish rarely move very fast, some sea stars can actually coordinate their feet to bounce along when scared or hungry, which is the equivalent of a plotting human suddenly breaking into a sprint. To do this, fluid fills and empties about a third of the podia at random times, while the rest are swinging forward and propelling the creature in the desired direction. To get a better sense of how it's done, imagine having three legs and trying to run. It's trickier than it sounds. Most plants are a total yawn fest, but allow me to introduce you to one of the coolest trees on the planet, the rainbow eucalyptus. No, your eyes aren't deceiving you. These trees really are the color of the rainbow. Eucalyptus deglupta trees are mostly found in Hawaii, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, and they're one of nature's most beautiful wonders. As the bark of the rainbow eucalyptus peels off throughout the year, it reveals the bright green color of the fresh tree underneath. But as each new layer of bark matures at different times, it also turns shades of blue, purple, orange, and red until the whole trunk is a multicolored masterpiece. Their appearance isn't the only thing that makes these trees so great though. 
because the oils extracted from their leaves are also thought to have a relaxing, almost medicinal effect. If only I could plant one in my backyard. Speaking of trees, have you ever seen one like this before? They may look like something from a sci-fi movie set, but the truth is far more horrifying. You get a little closer to one of these bad boys and you'll be confronted with a living nightmare. Thousands of spiders. But how did these arachnid invaders end up taking over these trees in the first place? When Pakistani cities were hit with 10 years worth of rainfall and flooding back in 2010, the dramatically rising water levels caused millions of native spiders to flee into the trees for the shelter, where they set up camp. This mass invasion resulted in spectacular cocoon trees that looked like ghostly figures against the sky as the light passed through their sticky webs. There was one surprising silver lining to all this chaos, though. The sudden influx of hungry spiders also meant that the number of malaria-carrying mosquitoes was significantly lower. Let's take a minute to pick our jaws up from the floor, shall we? Do you know about any amazing, bemusing, or downright strange internet gems that just need to be shared with the world? Why not write in and let me know? Just send any footage or images you find online to clips at beamazed.com and you'll earn yourself a shout out in the next episode if it gets featured. Come on, don't be shy. Vending machines are pretty nifty inventions, until your snacks get jammed again. But wouldn't it be great if it wasn't just food and drink you could get at the touch of a button? Well, it seems like that future is finally upon us, because the very first car vending machine has arrived. Carvana, which won the Core 77 Design Awards in 2016, is the first fully automated, coin-operated car vending machine invented in the US. The car vending machine dispenses cars originally purchased online to customers like a can of soda, creating what is described as an unparalleled user experience created through the combination of technology, robotics, and a custom-made glass environment. To pick up a purchase vehicle, the customer just enters their name and drops a coin into the control panel, which then lights up and initiates a claw-free vending process. The machine retrieves the car and places it on a track, which moves the vehicle to the designated delivery bay. Before you ask, no, you can't just shake it for a free one. They say laughter is contagious, but what if the laugh that starts off the hysterics comes from a fox? The idea of foxes laughing might seem a little too far-fetched to be true, but just take a look at this viral video of an arctic fox chuckling away, and you'll realize that they aren't so much different from us after all. In fact, Archer the Arctic Fox isn't the only one who's gained viral fame for his distinctive cackling. Check out these giggling foxes who have been attracting attention on TikTok lately. <laughs> it certainly seems like foxes can easily fall into a fit of full-bodied glee, just like us humans. But is that really the case? According to animal behaviorist Jim Crosby, members of the Canidae family, like foxes, dogs, and hyenas, are capable of a lot of different vocalizations that we might interpret as sounds of joy or laughter, but we might also be slightly anthropomorphizing them. Still, they look like they're having a good time. And that's all that matters. You might think you've seen it all when it comes to fashion, but until you can stretch your stuff while your body is engulfed in an enormous brightly colored bubble, which then transforms into a skin tight dress, have you really pushed the boundaries of your own wardrobe? These super cool outfits were created by Norwegian designer Frederick Jarensen, a student at Central St. Martin's Fashion School who debuted the boundary pushing looks in 2019. Models walking the catwalk were engulfed in giant latex spheres that could be self-deflated by a simple wave, allowing the wearer to release the air pressure and dive out at the top of the balloon whenever they choose. Each outfit was created with roughly five meters of natural rubber, and Jardinson confessed that there was a lot of trial and error in making sure they were runaway ready. Looking like an alien egg is definitely one way to impress your friends, but if you have a fear of balloons bursting, maybe these unconventional outfits just aren't for you. Jarenson isn't the only one to experiment with inflatable fashion. Take a look at these outrageous billowing pants, which were created by menswear designer Hari Krishnan from the London College of Fashion in February 2020. To turn his wacky vision into a reality, Hari Krishnan stitched together up to 30 individual colorful latex panels, which can inflate to double the width of the wear by pumping the clown-like trousers with air via a 7mm valve at the bottom. For the top half of the looks, Hari Krishnan chose subtle, slim-line-cut jackets that would balance out the voluminous pants. 
who knows what's next. If you're anything like me, your parents probably told you time and time again not to play with your food. But just try telling that to these guys. Okay, technically they're actually playing the food. The Vegetable Orchestra is a -a one-of-a-kind musical group that performs on instruments made entirely out of fresh vegetables. The group was first founded in 1998 in Vienna, Austria, but they have played in music venues all over the world. From carrot clarinets to pepper flutes and pumpkin drums, the members purchase run-of-the-mill veggies from local farmers markets before carving them into refined organic instruments, which come together to create a soundscape unlike any other. Of course, each concert requires a whole new range of instruments and that means a load of leftovers. But the Vegetable Orchestra have come up with a clever solution. After the show, they whip up a nutritious soup using their discarded vegetables for the audience to enjoy. Mmm, all that human spit really does add a certain je ne sais quoi. Take a look at these walls. They may look trippy, but there's a legit reason for their strange design. They're known as crinkle crankle walls, and if you want to see one for yourself, you'll probably have to hop on a flight to England first, where about 75 still stand, mostly in Suffolk. You see, in the 1600s, before glass greenhouses existed, these serpentine walls were actually a great way to help plants grow. They were dubbed fruit walls, and British farmers would build their wavy or zigzag-like configurations high around Mediterranean fruits and vegetables, where they would store the heat from the sun and release it at night. This clever technique would create a microclimate that could increase the temperature by more than 10 degrees Celsius. Despite their sinuous shape, this kind of wall also economizes on brick usage because it can be made just one brick thin, whereas a straight wall built this way would almost definitely topple over. It's probably a good thing they're not so popular anymore. They look like a lawnmower's worst nightmare. It's no secret that the human body is an amazing, well-oiled machine but it's easy to take the many functions it carries out every day for granted. Let's take the healing process, for example. Have you ever stopped to think about how cool it is that our skin can literally regenerate? Granted, it all happens pretty slowly, but check out this time lapse of a wound healing and you'll see how the skin seems to magically knit itself back together. This incredible footage was captured by Colo Time Lapse, who dedicated a whole month to recording the 33-day transformation by taking a photo every four hours precisely six times a day. The cuts were created using a rugged stone surface that would cause maximum surface damage. Now that's what I call dedication. Once a scab forms, the body repairs broken blood vessels and new tissue begins to grow. Red blood cells help create collagen, which are tough white fibers that form the foundation for new granulation tissue, which is replaced by the new skin that forms over the top. As his wound heals, the edges pull inward until the injured body part is as good as new. Some of the most incredible parts of our body are ones we'll likely never see, because they're on the inside. Duh. Thankfully, there are plenty of brainy scientists out there who can give us sneaky peeks into what goes on behind the scenes, like this video of a dying neuron. In case you didn't know, neurons are the fundamental units of the brain and nervous system which are responsible for receiving sensory input from the external world, sending motor commands to our muscles, and transforming and relaying the electrical signals at every step in between. Basically, they're a pretty big deal. Neurons might be the longest living cells in the body, but they're also incredibly delicate. Unlike other cells, neurons don't renew themselves or divide and something as simple as a bump to the head or a glitch in blood supply can cause them to die, as well as certain diseases of the brain like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and Huntington's. The body also contains special cells called macrophages, which come along and eat the dying neuron to clear away the debris. How creepily efficient. When I say you'll see things for the first time in your life, I'm not lying. In fact, no one on Earth has laid eyes on this for hundreds of thousands of years until October 2019. But what exactly are you looking at here? A close-up of some frosted cake, maybe? Not quite. This is actually an eerie, untouched pool found in the bowels of the Earth. It was first discovered on an expedition into virgin cave passages found 700 feet deep at Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico, and it is believed to have never been seen by humans. The site was dubbed completely pristine by researchers who speculated that bacterial colonies around the edge of the pool have evolved entirely without human presence. 
Despite the confusing perspective of the photo, the pool is apparently about a foot wide, two feet long, and several inches deep. Geoscientist Mac Wishick suggests that the source of the crystal clear water likely started as rain that seeped through the overlying limestone, then dripped down the cave walls into the pool. Graffiti sometimes gets a bad rap, but there are plenty of creative street artists out there who can brighten even the darkest days with their imaginative artwork. If you're lucky enough to stumble upon one of these adorable little guys on the street, you have one man to thank, David Zen. Using pavement chalks, Zen transforms even the most mundane footpaths into fantastical scenes of total whimsy. Each drawing is improvised on the spot, and Zen's colorful characters have appeared on sidewalks all around the world, from Manhattan to Sweden and Taiwan. Of course, using chalks means that Zen's art washes away with the rain, but he doesn't mind. For this self-taught artist, expression is the only thing that matters. He even said he started making street art because he had successfully failed to make art anywhere else. Well, it's a good job he did, because his work is now instantly recognizable whenever it shows up. There are some things in the world that seem to defy all explanation, and I'll bet stumbling upon this at your local park would be enough to send you into a total headspin. This blaze of bright green and white might seem like something only a seasoned sorcerer could conjure up, but the reality is not so fantastical. The unusual scene was filmed in May 2020 by 44-year-old Juan Carlos Gil Lopez while on a stroll with his eight-year-old daughter at a park named Parque del Cicadas in Calahorra, a municipality in La Rioja, northern Spain. Despite wild online speculation about whether the footage was somehow doctored, what you're seeing is actually a controlled blaze intended to clear the park of fluffy pollen from the native poplar trees. The seeds from the female trees had coated the park in a layer of snowy white, which is extremely flammable and can contribute to wildfires. To eliminate this problem and clear the park, a controlled blaze was started. Because the fluff is densely coated and airy enough to burn without damaging the grass beneath, this video shows how the flames are able to move through the blanket of white in one fell swoop, revealing the lush lawn green beneath as if by magic. When it comes to jetting off for a while, most people would choose the hottest place on the map, but beaches and sunsets aren't for everyone. And if you prefer your vacays on the chilly side, I have just the place for you. China's Harbin International Snow and Ice Festival. This one-of-a-kind event takes place once a year and attracts around 10 to 15 million visitors from all over the world, who can't wait to get a glimpse of the incredible snow and ice sculptures on show. It's the biggest display of its kind in the world, spanning over 600,000 square meters. The most incredible part has to be the Ice Kingdom, which is an entire city built from ice that has been cut by 10,000 workers and illuminated in show-stopping colors. The tallest ice sculptures reach about 46 meters high, and the festival is only growing in size and ambition each year. So there's no telling what the sculptors will dream up next. One thing's for sure though, this is one event worth getting your winter coat out for. Of all the weird and wonderful creatures that live below the waves, octopuses have got to be some of the strangest. There are around 300 species of octopus which can be found in every ocean in the world, and each has their own unique quirks. But this ocean dweller really takes the cake with its ability to become an aquatic transformer. This eight tentacled show off was found dancing at a depth of around 1600 meters near Southwest Baker Island in the Pacific Remote Islands Marina National Monument in September 2019. Researchers aboard the EV Nautilus research vessel were lucky to catch a glimpse of the creature billowing like a circus tent in the wind. Although the exact species of this octopus is unknown, it is believed to be a part of the Ceratuthidae family, which often drift near the seabed at depths of over 2,000 meters, where light cannot penetrate the cold waters. Because of its hard-to-reach habitat, an up-close glimpse like this is super rare. Researchers believe the octopus was trying to intimidate them by making itself seem as big as possible. But if you ask me, it just makes it even more adorable. Aww. If you enjoyed this video, but you're not quite done having your socks blown off yet, you should totally check out one of the previous episodes from this series. They're on the screen right now, so just go ahead and click them. It's really that easy. And don't forget to write in at clips at beamazed.com with any more amazing things I should see. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.